What's up guys, it's Jason, back with something new that we're gonna start doing every single Wednesday, three minute Wednesday, even though today's is actually being uploaded on Thursday, which is my bad, because I didn't plan well, but new segment on the channel, so let's get straight into it. Before we get into the tutorial, I want to announce something. For the rest of 2020, I'm going to be posting, or at least trying to post, two new videos every single week. So make sure to stick around for that. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you don't miss a single one of those uploads because it's going to be some of the best content I can create for you guys. So today, we're going to be going over how to do glitch edits. Glitch edits have been incredibly popular over the past couple of years, and they just keep getting better and better and we're just going to quickly cover how to do some really basic stuff with this. So let's get straight into the computer and start editing. First, let's try to pick our image. I want to go with this because it looks really cool. So we're going to open Photoshop, drag this out of the way. And while that's loading, let's kind of cover what we're going to be talking about for the rest of the 20, for, th for the rest of 2020 with two new videos. Essentially, what I want to do is like a shorter form video at the very beginning of the week and then a longer form video at the end. So now let's drag this new image straight into Photoshop and start getting at it. So now with something like this, I really want to be able to edit my face. So I like doing this a lazy way. There are a lot better ways that you can do this, but for the time sake, we're just going to go to, go to the quick selection tool. We're going to select really roughly my face. And then we're just going to make sure that we just get the mask itself. So now we have a really quick and dirty sort of Selection of my face, we're going to click Control J and that's going to create a whole new layer of just my face. Now, essentially, what we're going to do with this, we're going to go straight to our blending options, get rid of whatever color we like. I usually prefer red so that it gets a way different contrast. Go to it and start shifting it over. Now, that's a really quick and easy way of being able to get a quick glitch edit. And if you notice, when you look at it, it's very subtle, but it's still there. And if you can actually increase how much you can tell it's there by just moving it a lot more. So when you look at it, you can tell that this part of the image is glitched. So I think that's gonna do for this three minute, thir three minute Wednesday, Thursday this time. Uh, I'm gonna actually show some more examples of this in right after this, or as I'm talking right now, just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how far you can take this and what you can do with it. Cause there's so many different ways you can make glitch edits that it's absolutely insane. So, Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my videos out when you guys do all of that. If you guys have any comments, concerns, or even questions, let me know down in the description. Let me know down in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.